Hi guys, welcome to English for Tourism. Today we're gonna talk about Taichung. The learning objectives include number one, appreciate Taichung County's tourism resources in both the Chinese and English. And this PPT file and this video will be different from the previous ones. We're gonna train everybody's English comprehension. So this time you won't be able to see the English and the Chinese texts. And maybe at the very beginning, you will find it a little bit challenging, but believe me, you can do it. Okay, learning objective number two, you are gonna learn to selectively translate the important tour information into proper English, so as to help English speaking visitors when they travel around Taidong. Number three, be able to conduct tours around Taidong in English and of course in Chinese. First of all, we'd like to talk about the features of Taidong. Taidong consists of a lot of high mountains and it is located right next to the Pacific Ocean or you can say the Pacific Ocean embraces Taidong from the east and Taidong is also the east coast of Taiwan. And it is the only place with hot air balloons. And in certain period of time, they promote hot air balloon tours. And also, you can do tours by train or by car. And Taidong also offers many wonderful, great hiking trails. So, in a simple word, Taidong is simply fantastic fun. First of all, let's talk about how to tour around Taidong in a train. Number one, a long, long time ago, when I was still a student in junior college, I studied in Huarian, which meant I had to take bus rides and train rides from Pindong to Huarian. It took basically eight hours or even more. But right now, don't worry about that. The train has become so fast and so convenient. It will take you from Kaohsiung to Taidong within two hours. And you can see the photos which show the beautiful train stations and the scenery along the way. And of course, you can enjoy the very famous Chishang lunchbox, Chishang Bian Dang. And since we just mentioned Chishang Bian Dang, I think, uh, well, we might start talking about this wonderful place called Chishang. As you can see, at Chishang, as long as you step out of the train station, you don't think it's a train station because basically it looks like a museum or a fine art museum. Look at the building itself and look at the artworks done by the locals and what's best for visitors is that you don't have to worry about ah my battery is low or my battery is dead because you can always charge your batteries and they enjoy reading in the train station and here, like I say, Chishang is famous for rice. Actually, it produces one of the best rice in Taiwan. And that means everywhere your eyes can reach are rice paddies. So in ancient times, when agriculture was the dominant industry, people don't travel to Taidong, but you see, you have to create the demand. What do I mean? When you come up with a good idea, for example, transform the rice patties into the 
amusement park, the tourist attraction for tourists. You create the demand, so that's what the locals, the people in Chishang Township did. They transformed their rice paddies into the playground for the city residents. So, over the weekend, on the holidays, you can see buses and buses of tourists coming from Taipei, Kaohsiung, to enjoy riding on the trail, which was originally designed as a trail among the rice paddies. And here I took those photos in November. Actually, it's the beginning of the winter or the end of, sorry, it is the beginning of winter or the end of autumn. And as you can see, the weather is very nice and the sun is still shining. On the left hand side, you see a beautiful lake. Yes, it's a lake, but you know what? It was designed to be an irrigation pond. So again, I really appreciate the creativity of the local people. Instead of treating the pond as a pond, they placed many installation artworks along the trail. And it becomes the must visit spots for tourists. And here, as you can see, it's so beautiful and it has a very beautiful name as well. The Road to Heaven. Look at it. It does look like heavenly, doesn't it? And as mentioned before, they transformed the irrigation pond into a lake where you can do boating and you can do bicycling or walking. And you won't get bored because from time to time you get to rest next to the installation art. Here is the irrigation park. So again, Chishang, good job for transforming farms into playgrounds, which make the tourism more sustainable, more creative, and more fun. And in here, well, you may think, uh, well, so do I go to Taidong only for hiking or bicycling? Of course not. Remember, the Pacific Ocean embraces Taidong. And with the, the strong currents, the Pacific Ocean creates a lot of geological parks in Taidong. This is one of them, which is named Xiao Ye Liu Geological Park. Why is it named Xiao Ye Liu? Because in northern Taiwan, there is a geological park named the Ye Liu, which has greater scale. But this Xiao Ye Liu is not bad. Let's look at the rocks in different shapes. Let's start with the right hand side. Don't they look like turtles? Yes, they do. And in the middle, look at them. What do they look like? Use imagination. Like some fish, some animals, right? And you can see fishermen trying to catch some fish from the Pacific Ocean. And of course, there are more people like me. We like to do sightseeing. So here again, you can see rocks of different shapes again from the right hand side do you know the name can you guess the name tofu that's right they do look like tofu how about the one on the left well they are like layers upon layers of cake or lasagna well <laughs> in my opinion they resemble lasagna anyway okay you can stay here you know for relaxation you can come here with your friends enjoying the sea breezes and the 
Pacific Ocean view, and here it's called、uh, the Beehive. They do look like a huge beehive. And of course, when there are beaches, there will be seafood. That's right. Okay. And I forgot to mention, Kaidong also have two very beautiful offshore islands. One is called Luida, the Green Island, and the other is called Lanyu or the Orchid Island, as. Suggested by their names, you know, the Green Island is very green, covered in green vegetation, and the Orchid Island used to be covered by orchid, but sadly, it is not anymore. But still, in this Fugang Yugang, the fishing harbor, you can enjoy a variety of fresh seafood. 大武 is one of the must stop stops for you. Sorry, must stop stops. Yes, because there are so many stops along the highway. Highway number nine. It's beautiful even on a cloudy day. It's still gorgeous. And here, people again. Use their imagination to create a lot of beautiful names, like、uh, okay, running into your love on Taiwan Highway Number Nine, Qing Ding Hai An Xian. Hmm, you're gonna tie a knot along the coast, and this is the beginning point of your happiness. And this is also the harbor, the shelter for your love. Isn't it cool? So here. Yeah, enjoy the Pacific Ocean. Even though the weather is nice, you can still build your sand castle or build your rock castle. And this is the unspoiled natural beach. Again, Du Lan Hai. And the locals create some fun artwork with the material at hand. On the right hand side is the coral reefs or the dead coral bodies, <laughs> the dead bodies of corals. And on the right hand side, they use the drifting wood to create artworks and then build them in the park. Shanyuan Hai Shui Yu Chang is a beach, very popular beach. When you look at a photo like this, you have the, you know, impression that maybe you are in the Philippines, maybe you are in Thailand, but no, we are in Taiwan. We are in Taidong, in Taidong along the coast. You can see sceneries like this very often. Okay, and here there's a bay that is very beautiful, but I do have to remind you sometimes the bay may looks very inviting, welcoming, but because this is the greatest ocean, the Pacific Ocean we are talking about, so please pay attention to the bulletin board and make sure it's safe for you to swim or play in the water. Okay, again, we are still on the coast. San Xian Tai literally means the plateau for three ferries. Again. I think、uh, the locals are, are very creative when they see rocks in such strange shapes. They begin their imagination and they make up stories of the three fairies, the three gods came here for a visit, and they built the arch bridges to connect the mainland to the. Tiny, tiny islands offshore.、And、this is the bridge, and this is the tiny island, and this is the sea water surrounding the tiny island. Nest, well, 
Let's return to the forests. This is Taidong Forest Park. It features a variety of tropical forests and many different kinds of trees. It's a nice place for you to walk, to bike, or to relax, chill with your friends. Next, well, I'd like to talk about Meili Wan. Literally, the beautiful bay. However, the beautiful bay、mm, does not end up well. A tragedy, a huge tragedy, happens to the beautiful bay. You may ask, what happened? Well, it looks like a, a very nice, maybe five class, five star. Hotel, right? It does. It was designed to be a five-star hotel, which is to attract a lot of tourists from Taiwan or other countries. But you know what? The project didn't pass the environmental requirements. So what happened? The seemingly inviting, beautiful five-star hotel was built, was completed, at least ten years ago. But because it didn't get approved, so instead of becoming the economic center, it has become a. Westland, isn't that sad? For ten years, no tourist can visit this place, and the local residents. For those I talk to them, they think it is a pity, but I don't know what to say. The law is the law. Law is for you to obey, not to <laughs> broken. So, just said, okay. And these are the Aboriginal people that I talk to, who happen to live next to Meili Wan, the beautiful bay. And next, well, after walking, driving, bicycling for so long, I guess it's time for you to take a break, right? So where to? The best place is Zhiben Hot Spring Area. As you can see on the left hand side, it's very easy to get to. You can take the bus, you can take the train, or you can drive it yourself. In the middle, you can see the location of Zhiben Hot Spring Area. It has the mountains and the beautiful rivers. It's so cool. And after soaking in a hot spring, maybe you feel like walking again. Then you can visit Zhiben Forest Recreation Area, where you can see some artworks, and you can again take a hike on the slow hills. It's not too bad. If you feel too tired, you can always, you know, walk back to your hot spring resort or hot spring hotels and relax. So, basically, this is Taidong. Okay, thank you for listening, and hopefully, the um. Explanation or the instruction is good for you. Thank you, and see you next time. Bye.